Bigger, Leaner, Stronger is a book all about busting myths about building muscle and losing fat. And it gives you a blueprint for how to do it properly. Everything the book covers is backed by science, and as it goes along, it points out certain myths about diet and exercise and lets you know if there's any truth to them. For example, should you eat six meals a day, three meals, one big one? The book covers everything from goal setting, tracking, nutrition, obstacles, supplements, to general health. However, in this series, we're going to cover only the main foundations of the book, which are the overarching principles on weight training, cardio, and nutrition. This should handle everyone's main concerns, which is, how do we lose fat, or how do we gain muscle? For part one, we're going to delve into nutrition and fat loss. We'll cover macronutrients, fat loss myths, and the four scientific laws of healthy fat loss. A macronutrient is any of the nutritional components of the diet required in relatively large amounts. Specifically, these are protein, carbohydrates, fat, and minerals such as calcium, zinc, iron, magnesium, and phosphorus. We'll cover the importance of macronutrients soon, but in the meantime, just remember, these are going to be the main parts of a diet you'll want to track. Fat, protein, and carbohydrates, specifically. If you don't track what you eat, that's the equivalent of you covering up the amount of gas you have in your car as you go for a cross-country drive. We wouldn't do that because it's dumb, but we do this all the time with our meal tracking. If you want real results, you have to do the monotonous task of tracking your meals. Another thing with losing fat many people swear by is that cardio is the key to fat loss. You'll see people at the gym every day running it out on the treadmills or pedaling all day on the stationary bikes. Cardio can help by burning calories and speeding up your metabolic rate. But if you aren't eating right, nothing will save you, and the cardio you do won't be enough to keep you below your daily energy expenditure. So how do we lose weight properly and healthily? The goal of healthy fat loss is to have as little muscle loss and metabolic slowing as possible. Both of these happen a lot in crash diets that try to make you lose weight fast. You can lose weight quickly, but you'll lose a lot of muscle, become skinny fat, lose your energy, and have a major drop in testosterone and a rise in cortisol levels. So here's the four laws you have to follow for healthy fat loss. The first law, eat less energy than you burn to lose fat. Let's say your base level of calories burned in a day is 2,000, and you decide that to lose some weight, you're gonna take in only 1,500 calories per day. If you stick to this, you'll lose weight, no matter what, it's science. Track your energy intake and make sure it is lower than the energy you expend, and you will lose weight. We haven't talked about macronutrients here at all yet, because even if you were snacking on Oreos and potato chips all day, so long as you stay below the amount of energy your body uses every day, you would still lose weight. The second law, use macronutrients properly to optimize body composition. Now although a calorie is a calorie for weight loss purposes, a calorie is not a calorie for body composition. So even though you would lose weight on the diet we just covered, it would mostly be muscle and you would become what we like to call skinny fat. If you eat too little protein while cutting, you'll lose more muscle than you'd like. If you eat too little carbs, your training will suffer. Your muscle recovery will be impaired and you'll be lacking in energy. And if you eat too little fat, you'll find a significant drop in testosterone levels and other undesirable effects. So when we balance out our macronutrient levels, you want to have enough of each so you maintain your energy, don't lose much muscle, and keep your hormone levels and cell function healthy. The third law, eat on a schedule that works best for you. If you've been training for any amount of time in the past, and you've heard that instead of eating three large meals a day, you should eat six smaller meals a day. This speeds up your metabolism and makes your body not store fat. But the truth of the matter is, essentially, a small meal causes a small, short metabolic spike, and a big meal causes a big, long metabolic spike. At the end of the day, it balances out, and there's not evidence for one style over the other. So just eat whenever works best for you and makes your diet the most enjoyable. And don't worry about meal timing too much. The fourth law, use exercise to preserve muscle and accelerate fat loss. Weight training can cause a major afterburn effect that will allow you to burn through fat after you finish your workout. And although you can lose weight by just restricting calories, you should, at the very least, add in a resistance training routine to your schedule. Cardio is the negotiable thing here. You don't need to do it. But doing a combination of healthy eating, resistance training, and a bit of cardio will put you in a crazy upward spiral of results. That does it for losing fat. Remember the miss and mistakes people make, the four laws of healthy fat loss, and make sure you check in next week for how to gain muscle. 
Bigger, Leaner, Stronger is a book that is geared towards men. However, many of the principles are similar to changing your body composition if you're a woman. But in case you're a woman looking to pick up this book, there's a book written by the same author specifically for women called Thinner, Leaner, Stronger. With this video, we never really delved into any specifics. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, like how much protein you should take in per day, or how many carbohydrates you need, make sure to just ask me in the comments. And don't be afraid to subscribe.